Lake Effect brings you conversations about what's happening in Milwaukee and the people, places, and organizations that shape our community. This is Lake Effect Spotlight from WUWM, Milwaukee's NPR. The Wisconsin State Fair is a time-honored tradition that has brought Wisconsinites together for nearly 200 years, but some are still experiencing it for the first time, including Lake Effect's Excret Nunez. She and Lake Effect's Jimmy Gutierrez, a lifelong Milwaukeean, visited the fair to experience it for the very first time. In this audio postcard, you'll hear Jimmy guide Excret through some of his must-dos at the fair, which include cheering loudly at the pig races and going down the giant slide really, really fast. Dude, we're here. Do you think people from like um, outside of Milwaukee come here? Mm. Like far away or not really? Mm. That's a great question because I think that the Wisconsin State Fair has the opportunity to heal the rural urban divide. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us together. This is a bipartisan issue. This is a bipartisan issue. Whoa, crazy. Like how you know, how you know where we're going. I like the back of my hand. That That's you... crazy. <laughs> It's like, it's literally like riding a bike. Got cops and cheese curds. 10 a.m. curds is a. crazy, <laughs> crazy behavior. All right, extra. What does it say right in front of us? OMG. It says Racing Pigs Arena. Hell, sorry. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I told you that, you know, in the spirit of the Olympics, we're going to start the day with high-level athletics and uh, some real competitors. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. This is what the Olympics is about. You ready? It's game time. On the dot. It's on the dot. One, two, three, four, four little piggies. They look so excited. <laughs> They've been ready. They've been ready. This is the first race of the day. They're they're raring to go. Aww. All right, who do you, who are you feeling? I'm this is the other part of it's like betting on pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bet on them. Yeah. Let's go with uh, Squealy Nelson. Squealy Nelson. Yes. Locking it in. Locking it in. I'm going spare ribs. Oh my God! Oh my God. Nelson took last. Oh no! You were let down. You yeah. were really let down. <laughs> but, but the energy is so infectious. I love this. This is what what it must feel like to be at the Olympics. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say, listen, I'm one for one. Spare ribs just tore that race up. <laughs> Gabby Thomas style. That was amazing. I don't know what this says about us as a people, <laughs> but um, I don't want to think that deeply about it. I just want to enjoy what I just saw. My face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> right. I never thought I would like cheer and sue we, but here we are. <laughs> here we are, we're a new person. Absolutely. I don't know if you're gonna like this. I actually apologize in, in <laughs> advance because I think it's, really upsetting, but oh, no. as like the Mexican representatives of the station, yes. had to try this out. I'm ready to be mildly offended. <laughs> 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 or impressed. What do you think that CCT stands for? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cheese, curd tacos, no freaking way. Are you kidding me? Watch them serve it on a flour tortilla. I swear to God. I swear to God. I, I'm an OG kind of guy. I like my. I don't like my tacos to be messed with. I like a very original. Yeah. And by that I mean brat, cheddar curds, lettuce, and baja. I'm not sure what baja, baja means, but I thought it would be ranch, but now there's like ranch listed on there, so it's not ranch. All right, you down to split a original yeah, pack with me? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. They're worth it. They're worth it. They're worth it. Oh yeah.
What did you all get? Like, what was the flavor that you got? I got the spicy. The spicy? We got the pickle. Did you do a pickle one? We got fox the checker. fox checker. Okay. He saw it on Tic Tac, and we all had to come. <laughs> <laughs> so, this hard shell taco, which I don't know what this is. Could be a flour tortilla. It's very hot. Cheese curds seeping out. Sauce. Ambiguous sauce. <laughs> I forgot there was bratwurst in here. <laughs> Your face was so concerned. I was wondering what was happening. When you said we are going to watch a competition, that is the last thing I expected. Maybe it should have been the first, but it was the last thing I expected. And, you know, I threw so much judgment at, like, the 10 a.m. curds just for us to shortly after eat 11 a.m. curds. So I see where people are coming from and... I think it's the true Wisconsin experience, so it was perfect. Oh, you want the true Wisconsin experience? We've got somewhere else to go, and there will be dairy. <laughs> we are in one of my favorite places at the fair, is the Wisconsin Products Pavilion, where we're going to walk around and grab some stuff, but there is a noon show of a dairy promotion board from Wisconsin. What do you want to do while we're in here before we watch this dairy? I want to uh, see, I want to find the craziest thing someone's selling. Because I feel like, you know, someone could be selling, I don't know, a veggie cutter or something. And you could be coming up in here today being like, you did not have a plan to buy this crazy thing, but you're walking out of it as a proud owner. Absolutely. So that's what I want to. Can I just tell this guy, hey, excuse me, your shirt is phenomenal. I just want to let you know. Oh, thank you. It's really good. <laughs> is that your fair shirt? Fair, going out. Uh, it is a Hawaiian shirt with giant beer steins on it, beer glasses, and some hops. Uh, amazing. amazing. All right, so here we've got apple cider donuts. Now that's the mo not the most wild thing, but it is incredibly delicious. So cranberries, cranberries. Is absolutely. But you may not know about Wisconsin cherries. It's all about the cranberry. Why is why is no one talking about cherries? No one talks about cherries, right? Oh my God, there's so much. The cherry scone, TBH. Ooh. Let's I don't know. Cherry scone? Let's do it. Okay. Can we get a cherry scone? So we need something to drink now. Yes. Extra. Welcome to maple everything. No. Maple cotton candy, maple syrup, maple kettle corn, and my personal favorite, maple root beer. No way! That's a thing! Alright, so the Products Pavilion obviously is quintessential. We had a little bit of everything. Is the, You kind of counted down. But also, how about that woman that had been going to the fair for 69 straight years? That's an entire lifetime. So I wonder what keeps bringing her back. I had so many questions. What's her favorite thing at the pavilion? Because she was right front and center of the dairy demonstration. So it seems like it's something that maybe she's never done before. So maybe there's just always something new to find out or new to do at the fair, which I really love and appreciate. The thing I love about having you at the fair too is that everything is new. <laughs> and so the next thing we're doing is Something I'm going to go on a limb and say you've never done before and you've never gotten your hands this kind of dirty before. <laughs> you guys are outside of this leap to I encourage everyone to come in and experience a milking demonstration today. My name is Vicki Janish. We're going to start the milking process with passion. Passion is our red and white full steam. And what we do is... Yeah, do you see it going? You see the, the milk flowing? That milk will go up and three This is crazy. Jars. And as wow. passion now has been a, I would say, highly established... I thought this was going to be some good old-fashioned milking. I was ready to see some hand action. <laughs> So we didn't get hands on with the cows, which I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed at, but we did get a great picture of you and Passion. That was a redemption arc. Honestly, shout out to Vicky. I loved how she was so excited for me to be new here at the fair. And she said, you need this amazing experience. You need to meet Passion. So the fact, <laughs> so I, it was, it was wonderful to take a photo with Passion. Truly an ambassador. For the, Wisconsin, <laughs> for the Wisconsin and Wisconsin State Fair. Absolutely. Now, this is not a comprehensive list, but this is my list. So, so far, to recap, we've done pig racing. We've gone to the Products Pavilion. 
We've done some milking, or we at least saw the milking demo. <laughs> the next thing we're doing could be my favorite part of the fair. And it's the part of the fair that in a couple years, I hope that I'm a part of. I hope you're ready for it. I'm so excited. Let's see what's next. This is the Grand Champion Hall, and this is where you'll find the most accomplished Wisconsin Knights in the world sharing in the world, in the world <laughs> sharing their favorite gourds, photos of cats. And one day, my goal mm -hmm. is that I am in this hall. Oh my God. And I haven't figured out for what yet, but I think our <laughs> challenge is, as we walk through to figure out what offering we'd bring to the state that we'd find ourselves in Grand Champion Hall. In the next Hall. five years, in the yes. Next, in, the next, <laughs> in the next five years. Are you ready for this? I'm so ready. Let's do it. Okay, love it already. Look at the art. The quilt. Okay, we walked over to it. Quilters Anonymous of Wauwatosa. Dude, Joan is doing work. This is a, this is definitely a first place blue ribbon best quilt. For, best workmanship. Incredible. Well done, Joan. So Beautiful. I'm never going to be in here for quilting. I know that. <laughs> okay. Listen, there's some really nice photos, but I think if I have a shot in anything. It's photography. It's photography. I love that someone just submitted a photo of their hot dog. Yeah. It, just, it was just like so good that they had to share it. Absolutely. Like, and then submit it to the Hall of Champions <laughs> and then actually get it in here. And then <laughs> place in third. Yeah. All right. This is what I think. I'm going to be famous for in five years, growing big veggies. Look at that onion. Here we go, dude. Wow, this onion is yeah. almost as big as my head. <laughs> like this, this onion is the size of an NBA basketball. Okay, wait, so you're, you got first place? Yep, the mini bells, yep. I got second here. Did you see this? Um, third there. Oh my gosh, okay, so I didn't know we were next to royalty. No. <laughs> like, obviously your garden is prolific here in yes. the Champions Hall, like how yeah. does this happen? Well, it started with two tomato plants and two pepper plants, and then my husband told me I could grow more, and actually from seed. So I started buying seeds, and then I started growing in my dining room, and I start in February and it goes till October 1st. What encouraged you? Like, what encouraged you to, I'm going to submit my veggies into the fair? I was walking through here one day, and I said, my veggies are th that look that good. I think I'll try this. Yeah. You just interviewed my wife. <laughs> yeah. For oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful vegetables. All right. Yeah, yeah. We wanted to know what the what her secret was for all these gold, our first places. She talks to the seeds. She talks to the seeds? And they're growing, she puts the fan on so they get used to the wind. Dude, she's into it. They, she's our dining room turns into a greenhouse. And then it goes into the kitchen, then it goes outside. And they can only go outside for 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes. She goes in and out. And like, so she gets her first place prize. There was over 800 little seedlings in her house this year. Really? Because nothing died. She, everything like stayed everything. growing. Oh, here are the bonsais. So, bonsai means a tree in a pot. Okay. So you can go get a tree, you know, and put it in a restricted pot mm -hmm. and train it to have branches going the way you want them. Yeah. I feel it's funny because like gardening, I feel like we've all had some that we've like we've all had some plants that like we've lost over the years yeah. for whatever reason. I feel like I would take it so personally if like I lost a bonsai though. Yeah. It's it's too it's too much. I and guess. that's how I felt. Um, so the first tree I got when I joined the club is still alive um, and doing great and looking that I could probably bring it to a show. Um, my second tree, when I took a lesson, died. And I felt really bad. And the teacher said, look, we took it out of the pot, we trimmed the roots, we wired the branches, and it was way too much stress on the tree. So I felt like, okay, so if something goes wrong with your tree, you need, certainly you're sad, because you've put effort in it, but you also have to realize that you're learning why did this tree die? Did I do something wrong? Was it something with the tree? Did it get infected with a fungus or an insect? Or, so, 
yeah. I feel kind of like honored to like know that I live like in a state where there's so like talented people. Like I don't know, I, it's really sweet. I really like it. All right, and then you said your two, the two things that you may enter in five years to get into the Hall of Champions is? <laughs> Veggies, I want to grow big boy onion, and uh, desserts. I want to make a bomb pie. Ooh, okay. And you, Jimmy? I think for me, I'd have two as well. I'd have mediocre photography of my cat. <laughs> I think I can get it in here. And then I think the second thing if I'm being ambitious, it wouldn't happen in five years, but maybe long term. Okay. Bonsai. Yeah. I'm a convert. I'm into it. Bonsai. I don't know if I'm more taken by Rita and her dedication of all of her fruits and vegetables and herbs, or if I am by Bonsai. Like that was incredibly tender. I'm I'm here for it in a way I I did kind of expect, but I didn't expect at the same time. You know what I loved most about it is like, yes, it's my first time here, but learning about you and how at the end you were like, you know what? I'm convinced I am going to become a bonsai person now. Like <laughs> that was like, that was incredible because you know, you've lived here your entire life in Wisconsin. So like, how much do you think about, oh, the bonsai community? the bonsai tree grower community. I, I will tell you, I think about them once a year when I'm in the <laughs> Grand Champions Hall and we are, and I'm looking at bonsai and I'm like, this is impressive. You know what else is impressive? What, what else is impressive, Jimmy? The final thing I have to show you about the fair. <laughs> All right, you ready? I don't know what else to expect anymore. Let's go. Extra, this one's for you. For me? Oh my God, stop. I know where we're going. Where are we going? <laughs> what are you doing, Axford? We're going to go see some raptors. Uh, oh, my God. Chirp chat at the fair, baby. <laughs> 75 miles per hour. This little two-pound rocket in a dive can reach 240 miles an hour. They are swift. They are agile. They are built for speed. And the reason for that is peregrine falcons are hunting in a much different way than our owls and our hawks, and they're hunting for different things. I had my five things, and that was the uh, the Taylor curated, curated for excret experience. I'm gonna we're about to do something now that we've been talking about that I know you do not want to do though. I, I you know what it is, don't you? I know what it is because we've walked by it. I think at least five or six times now, and every time we pass by it. We say, giant slide. All right, we're looking at the giant slide, towering some 50 plus feet in the air. How are you feeling, x -Grid? A little nervous. All right. What a great way to end the fair. My first fair in Wisconsin. Thank you. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. All right, push out whenever you're ready. You ready? Three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. Oh my god! We did a little bit of everything today. I guess I have to ask you, you know, what did you what did you think of the Wisconsin State Fair and what you saw? You know what I love is like when we entered, you told me you knew this place like the back of your hand. I am coming back again and I can't wait to show other people now. <laughs> like I know this place like the back of my hand. This was truly such an experience. I did not expect anything. Maybe I expected like kind of county fair kind of situation, but it, it exceeded those expectations. I, I don't know, it makes me feel even more at home now. I've lived here for almost a year now. It'll be a year in one, in one month, it'll be a year. It, just, it was kind of like a big reverse homecoming, like Wisconsin being like, welcome to your new home. Congrats on a year. So that was really special. When you sent me that Slack message about, hey, I've got a, an idea for a story and you told me what it was. I didn't know if someone suggested you to ask me, but I'm like, I am the person for this. <laughs> I am the guy. Cause listen, I go hard for the fair. And it is kind of what I said earlier is like, 
tongue in cheek, like it, it, if there's anything that heals the, the rural urban divide, like it is the state fair. But like, honestly, think about the people that we talked to and the people that we met and where they're coming in from and Wisconsin and Milwaukee, West Dallas, shout out being an ambassador for this event. You know, it really does bring people from around the state together. And just the spirit of having a good time, eating incredibly unhealthy, but at the same time walking and chatting it up and, and sharing communal food at tables, which was unexpected. But um, yeah, it just makes me feel too like more connected to the state, not just Milwaukee in ways that I would like to feel more often than not. I really appreciated like sharing this cultural experience with with each person that we've met and like letting them know like hey this is my first time and then welcoming us or like me with like open arms like hey welcome like jump into this craziness that we're in already and like how many people we just like stopped by to be like we love your fit like you are you are so fair <laughs> or like commemorating in that and celebrating Wisconsin culture I don't think is something that you can do every day and so and learning where everyone from Wisconsin is coming from has been really special and welcoming welcoming them to Milwaukee what which some people might just see as this like big scary city sometimes but it's a place where we can all come together and like appreciate Wisconsin's culture that's been really special Are you sad we didn't do the slingshot? I'm so, I'm so glad. <laughs> Dangling my feet over the sky glider chair. Eating a cream puff, not an eclair. I'm watching people trying hard not to stare. Won't you come with me to the Wisconsin State Fair? That was Lake Effects expert Nunez visiting the Wisconsin State Fair for the very first time with Lake Effects Jimmy Gutierrez, a lifelong Milwaukeean as her tour guide. You can hear more of their experience at wuwm.com. I ate too much today, but I do not care. Won't you come with me to the Wisconsin State Fair?